Today we're going to attempt to take this wallpaper off. There's two coats on here. I've never used a steamer before, but I'm really excited because I've heard a lot of people like it. The way I used to do it is I used to score it and then use a uh, product called Diff. You would score it, spray the Diff on there, kind of let it soak up, take your putty knife and scrape it off. The tool that we're going to be using today is a steamer. Um, we're still going to score the wall and then it kind of steams and the steam will kind of get into the scores, hopefully, and you'll be able to peel it off. So this right here is the scoring tool. It's pretty easy to use. You just stick it on the wall. You can kind of see how it scores it. That's what we want. We want the steam and the water to get behind there. Kind of soak in behind there and make it peel off. Wanted to show you real quick how easy this stuff is coming off it's just peeling right up and the trick is you have to leave the steam on there don't be impatient don't try to get this done too quickly this is a time consuming project but if you just take your time and don't get too big of a hurry it will come off nice and easy like i said the trick is just to keep the steam on there and if you move it over and you start peeling that one up and it's not coming up very easily just move it back, add a little bit more steam to it. I would say on average, I'm probably letting it sit on there about, I don't know, 20 seconds, maybe 15 to 20 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds, just kind of depending. Some of this stuff still has two layers on it. Some of it doesn't. The, the two layer stuff, uh, what I'm finding is you'll, you'll peel it. The top layer will come off. You add a little bit more steam. You'll get the second layer off just as easy. So this is what I mean by a little bit too hard. You don't want to have to scrape that hard. It should come rough really easily. If you add more steam, it will just come smoothly right on up. And the one thing you absolutely don't want to do, and this goes back to just being patient, you don't want to apply too much pressure on the wall right here, because what happens is you'll start digging into the wall. And once you do that, you're just going to have to mud a lot, a lot more. All right, so one more thing that I'm doing is when I get to the ceiling, um, I'm not sure if it's, it would peel up the ceiling at all, but what I'm doing is I'm taking my putty knife and I'm just kind of just kind of going across it, kind of scoring it. That way when it peels up, it just it, it's not going to take any of the ceiling with it. So as you guys can tell, it works really, really well. I was very happy with the way this worked. Uh, got, got everything done here in the kitchen. That's all the wallpaper that I have to take off. So very happy about that. Nobody really likes doing wallpaper, but this thing really makes it a lot easier. I was very impressed. So like I said before, the, the way I used to do it is I would score it. I have a product called Diff, and it's basically a liquid gel, and you would spray it on the wall after you score it. And then you just let it soak in. You would use your putty knife. It worked pretty well. Uh, but real messy. So to make a long story short, if you got wallpaper to take off, I really recommend using the steamer. I'm not sure how much they are. I actually borrowed this one. 
Um, I think some places you can actually rent them, like at Home Depot or something. So like always, I appreciate you guys watching. We have a ton of videos coming out, and I mean a ton. You know, a lot of videos on this remodel, just a lot of videos coming out.